हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन डे लोट लेटेस्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ओके बट बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू से अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल योर ड्रीम्स कम ट्रू इन दिस ईयर ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो बेसिकली आई एट फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन द होल क्वेश्चन एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन द सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो एंड आई विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग जावा बट इफ यू अंडरस्टूड द लॉजिक पार्ट देन यू कैन इजिली इम्प्लीमेंट द कोडिंग पार्ट ऑल्सो इन एनी लैंग्वेज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Okay, so as you can see, this is your our question. Okay, so basically, as I have told in my previous videos also, because I cannot write anything in these pictures, that's why I write the same question in my PPTs. So let's see from there. Okay, our question, right? So what this question is saying to you? Given a numerical array with n values from zero to nine, find the smallest possible sum s represented as a string of two numbers, creating using the digits of the array elements. The two numbers together should include all the digits of the array. Okay, so this is our question. Uh, I know this question is quite confusing, and you can you cannot understand the properly what this question is saying to you. So that's why now I will describe the example. Then you can easily understand what this question is saying to you. Okay, so this is our um. first example so in the first example as you can see this is the array size and this is the numbers of the array okay means this value is present in our array so our output is 604 okay so now let's see the explanation so two number sizes n by 2 and n minus n by 2 means you have to divide this array into two equal parts okay n by 2 and n minus n by 2 okay should be created using the digits of the array such that their addition should form the smallest smallest sum 604 in the output means at least you can understand one thing that you have to divide the array okay i think you understood this thing so so the point is you have to give the smallest sum right so how you will get the smallest sum this is the main part okay so just a second okay okay if i just short the array like if i try to build a logic and i just try to short whole array then what i will get 2 3 then Four, then five, okay, then six, then eight, okay. I think I write all the all the numbers: two, three, four, five, six, eight, right? So now you have to divide this array into two equal parts, right? So now if we take the first element, okay, okay, means this is the part one, okay, and this is our part two. Okay, so then two. Then next I will take three. Okay. Next I will take four. Next I will take five. Okay. Then I will take six. Then last I will take eight. Okay. If I just add these two numbers, then I will get six zero four. Okay. This is the main logic part. So at the first you have to sort the array. After that you have to divide this array into two equal parts, and you have to put the numbers in alternate ways. Means the first number should be put in the first part, and the second number should be put in the second part. Okay, and the third number should be put in the first part again, but in second position. Okay. In the same way, the fourth element must be put in the second part in the second position. In this way, this whole process is going on. Okay, I think this is clear to you. If at the end, if you just add these two number, then you will get what six zero four, right? It's clear. So now let's see the second example. Okay, in the second example, our array size is five. So this is your. array elements okay so what is your first task your first task is that you have to sort the array right so after sort this array what you will get 0 then 3 then 4 
then 5, then 7, right? After that, you have to create two parts, right? P1, P2, okay? And then, what is your first number? Is 0. Second number is 3. You have to put this in part 2. Next is 4. You have to put this in P1. Next is 5. You have to put this in part 2. Next is 7. Okay. So, we don't have any other elements. So, this is our final result. Okay. So, at the end, you only just need to do one thing. You have to only just add these two things and you will get your desired output. Okay. I think it's clear. 35 plus 0, 4, 7. Okay. I think it's clear. And this is your output and this is our desired output. Right. 82. Okay, so now I think this question is clear to you. So I will write this solution in Java. You can write this code in any language, but at least you understood whole logic part. So I think you can implement this code in any language, but I will solve this problem in Java. Okay, so now let's go to our Eclipse IDE. So now I come to my Eclipse ID. So here I will solve the problem. So as I have told in my previous videos that you, you will get all the things written in your code. You only need to build the main logic part. Okay. So here I will uh, build my logic part. So now let's start. Um, so basically here I have created a method. Okay. And in the main method I just call that method. Okay. And uh, here i just take some user inputs means first is the array size and the next is the like the all means the elements in that will be present in our array i just take all the elements from the user okay i think it's clear so now here i will build a main logic part so at first as i've told what is my first task is sort the array right so uh, as you know in java they have a inbuilt method is array so sort method right and this sort method is used what a uh, sorting technique quick sort right means um, the what is the time complexity of the quick sort is order of n log n okay although it's not necessary i have just for i have just said uh, for information purpose okay so basically at first i just sort the array right so arrays arrays so sort what a r r right and then you have to divide this array into two parts okay so at first take two uh, integers p1 equals to 0 and p2 equals to 0 right okay so now for int i equals to 0 i less than a r r dot length and i plus plus okay and then so if i modulus 2 is equals to equals to 0 then i will do something or yes i will do something else okay so basically i modulus 2 is equals to equals to 0 means what it is the even indexes right and else part in the else part i have i i will add all the odd index elements okay so now if p1 equals to 1 equals to p1 star 10 plus what arr of i okay and then the else part p2 equals to p2 star 10 plus arr of i okay i think it's clear so at the end i just add these two things okay p1 plus p2 okay so now uh, let's run this code okay so as you can see this code will give you the correct output right so now the question is what is going on in this code so basically i will use the first example okay means this example this is our first example right in i have already shown this example in my slides so this is the first example that i have discussed in my slide so basically what is the array element here uh, what is the size is six and what is the elements six eight then five four two then three right so you have sort the array right 
so uh, right okay now i have short array so after short array what you will get means what will what will be the sequence 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 8 okay now means it will be in my zero index uh, a second so my zero index will be my first second third fourth and fifth right what is my first index first index is zero okay so it is a even right so we just add that number with p1 okay so now our p1 is what two okay for the next one you will get one now this is our odd index right so now p2 is equals to what one okay for the next is again second in the second into what is the value is four right okay just a second this is not one right it is what this is three okay so what is the next index is second index right and also the element is four okay so now p1 start 10 means what means 2 into 10 you what you will get 20 20 plus what 4 okay because now we are considering the second index second index means what is the element is 4 right so now what you will get at the end 24 okay so now in the same way for the third index now you will get what 35 right next is 4 now 24 into 10 is 240 plus what do you get 6 right means 246 okay and also the last uh, element is 8 okay and index position is 5 means it is an odd index right 35 into 10 means 3 uh, 3 into 10 is 350 right so 350 plus 8 now at the laser you will get what 358 okay so at the end i just add these two elements okay means 246 plus 358 okay so i think this code is clear to you if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section okay so yeah that's all for this video i hope this video is helpful for you thanks for watching and best of luck for your exam